All right, Coach Chapin here, and we're in my kitchen. We're talking today about condiments. I know a lot of people, you know, we, we're talking a lot about food, and everyone has different taste buds and different palates and different things they like. I'm going to give you some low calorie or no calorie uh, condiments that can change kind of the, the flavor of your meal. Um, and we're going to pick a couple uh, that maybe you've heard of and maybe you're not. Like if you look at, you know, ketchup and barbecue sauce, what draws us to them is predominantly sugar. So we're trying to stay away from that, those, but if you look at the back, you can see some things. Uh, and I'm going to give you a little highlight reel of what I keep in my house and uh, we'll go from there. All right. One you might not think of, soy sauce. I love to use this to, to uh, marinate meats, um, and you can put it on, you know, food before or after you cook it, and it, uh, I really like it. This is the gluten-free option, so if you have a gluten allergy, make sure that you look for this one. This big bottle was like $6, and the little bottle was $4, so I went with the big one. Uh, mustard. There's all different kinds. There's yellow mustard, there's spicy mustard. You can get, uh, you know, Dijon mustards. It's just personal preference. Me personally, love yellow mustard, and I'll put it on all different, uh, especially red meats. Really like it. Salt, right? We can put this on vegetables. We can put this on meat. This is one uh, that we're going to cover more in another video of Spices, but I like to throw this one in here because salt gets kind of a bad rep and people think think it's bad for them, but it's a necessary thing. And uh, especially in the summer, adding a little salt can help just our hydration levels and help uh, just feel a lot better. All right, my personal favorite, hot sauce. Frank's Red Hot. Uh, this is my go-to. There's about 15 different kinds of hot sauce in my refrigerator. Didn't think you guys need to see them, but I go Frank's Red Hot, and then second, Cholua. And if I'm getting, I'm going to rank uh, a third, I'm going to go the Cholua Chipotle. Um, now, salsa, kind of, some might say this is like hot sauce, but this is another great alternative to mix it up. People have been throwing it in eggs, but uh, you can put it in whatever you want. Now, we're going to some pickled items. This is just regular pickles. Uh, this is like a hot and spicy dill pickle. pickle. Now you gotta look at the back. This has no sugar. Some of the pickles that you'll find will have sugar or they'll say no sugar added, but it already has sugar in there. And uh, some of them actually now are even using, using stevia or um, the artificial sweeteners to make them taste sweeter. So really try to stay away from those. Uh, I also like pickled jalapenos, which you can eat these as is, or you can take them out and cook them if you want to lower the heat a little bit. And then just another kind of pickle. Um, and I try to keep all these, if you notice, these are all open, so this is all backup for me, so I keep a lot of them in here. So I always have the ability to kind of change the flavor and texture of the food. Now, if you're really going all out, you could make all of this yourself and lower the price point even more, but most of this stuff uh, is fairly inexpensive and you can keep it uh, in your house and just use it and experiment with it. Like no one said that you can't use mustard and hot sauce together uh, or you take some soy sauce and mix it up with some salsa, right? That's part of the experiment and part of the, the learning process uh, for all of us is that we have to learn in the gym how to lift and that's constantly evolving and we have to, you know, outside the gym adopt new kind of lifestyle habits and this is part of that. So if you're not comfortable trying all these new flavors and this is kind of a commitment to you, um, really just go uh, over to a friend's house, invite people over and, and share food, and it might open up uh, your horizon to just some new flavors, textures, and uh, I assure you that you might think that this hot sauce is really hot, but 
it's it's a way just different flavor. It's not hot uh, in a way that you think. Um, so I encourage you guys to get out there, try this. If you would like to see a special video, comment below what you want to see. As always, thumbs up the video and like and subscribe if you have not already. So if you guys are in Greenville, come by CrossFit Reaction. Always welcome. Uh, but if not, we'll see you in the next video.